Meghan and Harry get their own taste of medicine as they try to rebuild damaged reputations. Royal expert Tom Power believes the couple's attacks on the royal family during Netflix documentaries and the Oprah interview are now backfiring on them. Welcome to Royal Pancake. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have suffered several major blows in recent months after the cancellation of their contract with Spotify. Speculation is now rife that the couple is spurned by the Hollywood elite while Meghan is said to be trying to distance herself from brand Sussex. Royal biographer Tom Power saw the shocking allegations made by the Sussexes in their series of Netflix documentaries last night now backfire on the couple's reputation, reports the Scottish Daily Express. The expert went on to say he believes Meghan in particular will be looking to hit back at her attacks on the royal family during their infamous interview with Oprah Winfrey in 2021. Speaking to OK he said, they started tasting the medicine they handed out during the Oprah Winfrey interview. They are finding it very difficult to maintain their brand reputation. They are constantly having to stand up for themselves and they are taking advantage of opportunities that no longer exist. All I got was the burden of interviewing Oprah Winfrey, and denouncing the royal family in so many interviews in a row. That's why she's been so quiet all year. She knows they've probably gone too far and she doesn't know how to get out of it now. What's cool how's it going to end? What's going to be the climax? It appears Meghan has kept a low profile since the beginning of 2023. The award-winning Archetypes podcast was cancelled by Spotify last night amid rumors that the digital music streaming giant had grown impatient with its lack of action and ideas as the Duchess was said to be largely absent from the recording. However, Meghan signed up with a major agency earlier this year, and new reports say she's apparently tipped to take on the lead role in a sequel to 1992's The Bodyguard in which the former Suits actress makes a dazzling return to acting. The couple is still holding out for the $100 million Netflix deal that was rumored to be at risk of suffering the same fate as the failed Spotify deal. In regards to some of their new ideas for Netflix, the Duke is said to be looking at a solo project that will involve traveling to Africa to see a documentary. Prince Harry is known to have a great emotional connection with the continent, particularly Botswana, and took Meghan on a camping trip there on their third date. However, Bauer, author of 2022's Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors, isn't as confident about the pair's success when working separately. He said, I don't think Harry could make an interesting documentary in Africa. Harry has big problems. And I don't think Meghan has a brand to sell because it's so controversial. She brings a lot of baggage now. They both have problems. It's also rumored that Meghan is considering relaunching her lifestyle blog, The Tick, which she previously closed after becoming part of the royal family. The Duchess reportedly hopes to be as successful as Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop or Kourtney Kardashian's Poosh.